Sugi, 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 stop! I'm not going anymore. Where are you dragging me to? I just told you. There is something I saw. I need to show you. So get this here. Can you stop seeing things and stop interfering into people's business? It's so hard. By the time you see what I'm about to show you, I believe you will not see all these things you're saying. Come with me. It's all. I took the oath with him because he promised everything will be fine. Please, call in Sogi. I have something to show the both of you. No, we do not have to call her. She's outside watching out for the midwife. So we do not get into trouble. You're right. He gave me this money. <sighs> she was here. Sogi, let us go. If anyone sees us here, we may be in trouble. No! We cannot leave her like that. Now we have a clue that she was here. I have a feeling that she's somewhere, somewhere in this bush. Let's go in and search for her. Sogi, remember I have a child to care for in the palace and I do not have to stay out long. What do we do? My king, it is not there. And what do you mean it is not there? I went to take it from where I kept it last time. But I cannot find it. Then go and ask the maid! Yes, Someone must have taken it out of the place you kept it! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Before, sir. How can a grown woman be missing? And why was I not told? The king ordered, my queen. He ordered it should be kept away from you. You had just put to bed as at that time, my queen. Go back there. Maybe she went out when you went there the first time. Okay, my queen. Go. And I heard that Osara is making allegations against the Nuge for Ifoko's disappearance. Yes, my queen. The king has sorted it out with him, my queen. You can go. On your way out, tell Uluto I want to see the king. Okay, my queen. Where is uh, two hundred so good? You saw? You don't know where they went to. How? We're here. And where are you the two coming from? We went to chase the fowl. We want to slaughter to make paper soup for the queen. So where's the fowl? We lost it. We lost it. Now all of you listen. I'm looking for a parcel I kept behind the king's quarter. Tied in a leaf. Did you say anything like that? No, we didn't. Are you sure? Yes, yes we didn't. Now don't forget about your duties. What harm would the urine of a three day old baby do to you that you cannot drink to save your life? I will not drink it. If the chief priest does not have Another solution, then let me die. Then die! I will die and leave you on your troubles!
you clearly seek a visit to the other side of life. I bid you farewell in advance. I know. I know you did this on purpose to get me out of your way. Asemuta, you are wasting your time. You had better get a knife to kill me. It will make it quicker. But you are so intoxicated with bitterness. Diggy! The feeling is mutual. I promise you. I will find her. And when I do, I will kill her and feed her flesh to the vultures. Endeavor to drink the baby's urine. It will help you cure your insanity and bring sunlight to you. I will not drink it. Awa! Awa! Me! It's a me! Koi na vata kwa! Mwen yo miyo mopo! Awa! I will not drink it! I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. I saw with so much sad news, she would do nothing about. Sugi, then what do we do? We have done everything, remember? My friend, there are different methods to fight a battle. But this battle is a lost one. No. Do not give up, Sugi. We will not allow the royal home to go scot-free with the evil they have done to our friend, Ifweko. Did you see the resemblance? Did you? Oh. He has her eyes. But looks more like the king. <laughs> I thought I was the only one who noticed. I thought I was the only one. Sogi. Forget it. We have won our friend if we go. It is time we get up and go back to work. Okay? It's fine. It's fine. My queen, the midwife is not yet back. You can go now. All right, my queen. under my nose. For soon. <sighs> Greetings, my husband. What do you want? I know we are not best of friends like other married people. But that is not my making. Neither is it my making. But we are doing fine. My heart is troubled. I want to know what happened. Talk to me. Is it me? Some things are better left unsaid. You have a child now, as you desire. So be happy. Talk to me. Gume Guan. Did you send her away with the midwife? 
Kunegwan. I, I do not know the whereabouts of the midwife. And if we go? Is it we go back to your quarter? I want to know. I insist. Is the me? Leave me alone! Little home, are you done mourning? I do not have any recent debts to mourn. So I do not know what you're talking about. Of course you do. I'm very sure you would like to explain to the king why you have been sneaking around the royal graveside. Olotu, what do you really want? I do not know who is watching you or who X is gifted in observing strange movement in the palace. So I thought I should warn you. Can I talk to you about something later? About what? Why are you scared in coming out to tell me how you feel about me? Olotu! Olotu! Olotu. My queen. You and the king have been going from one discreet journey to another. I'll give you five bags of coral beads for you to give to your wife on your wedding day if you tell me what the king has been doing under my nose. We have been moving from one discreet journey to another, disposing the evil meal you cooked. I expected you to quietly go back to your chamber and take care of our child. Not coming out here to dig out dead rats. Izebe, what do you want? I just want to know the truth. I have never told you a lie. Then why did you not invite me when she was having the child? Because the situation did not permit me to do that. Besides, you were not in the palace. So where is she? Where is she and the midwife? Where are they? I do not know where the midwife is. As for Ifeko, I cannot tell where she is. Please. I promise not to haunt her. I just want to know if you sent her far away so she does not come one day and claim my child. Go to your chamber and take care of the child she has given you. I do not ever want to discuss this again. May I have audience with His Highness? Wise one. Ogema Atokbe. Long may you reign. You are a rare visitor to the palace. It's all well. All is well, my lord. Very well. Hmm. So what message does the gods bring to us? The newborn baby. The gods have sent me to give the new baby his welcome gift. You mean grazing his wrist with the enchanted bracelets? Exactly, my lord. Exactly. But it is usually done during his naming ceremony. That is correct, Your Highness. 
But the gods have commanded that it should be done earlier than ordained. Strange. The gods are wise. Olotu. My king. Tell the queen to bring the prince at once. Dolls of the sky, the earth, fire, the sea, and the air. Bear witness today that this is the prince of Azaba. Be at hell upon his request and behests. Bless him with long life. Bless him with peace. Bless him with all that is good. Oh, give her a talk, baby! Yes, King, what are you doing out this late at this time of the night? What do you want this night? It's late. My night has been taken over by a terrifying dream. I cannot even close my eyes. What did you dream of? She came to my dream and sat on my laps asking, why she did not enjoy royalty as a queen? The gods forbid that the king of Azaba be tormented by a ghost. Awa! Wise one, I need your help. Uh, your highness, I will come by the palace in the morning. You... I just told you I cannot close my eyes. And you're sending me away empty handed. Your highness, you will be okay. You will be fine. You will be fine, Your Highness. Are you sure? Yes. The, 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 a ghost that is out for destruction will not sit on your laps and you still have the mouth to tell the story. <laughs> it's not done. It's not possible, Your Highness. You go, Your Highness. I will come by the palace in the morning. I will find out what she wants. You go. All right. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, wise one. Thank you, Your Highness. Lotu. Sleep well, Your Highness. The Navi who needs a no boy. The Bena Pere, the Bena Pere. I am a paratio, I am not your. 